Governor Greg Abbott today to freeze property tax revenue for cities that defund the police. Political anchor Ashley Godot joining us live with more on this. Ashley, the governor made it very clear this is in reaction to Austin City Council's newly approved budget. That's right, it is, Brian. Last week, the council voted to decrease the amount of money the city manager had slated for APD by about $150 million. Governor Abbott said then lawmakers will take action in the next legislative session, and now we're getting a glimpse of what that action could look like. Governor Abbott, together with Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, Speaker of the House Dennis Bonin, and several state lawmakers held a new conference in Fort Worth this afternoon. They announced a proposal to freeze property tax revenue for any Texas city that decreases funding to its police department. This means cities wouldn't be able to collect a greater amount of money in property taxes than what is currently collected if cuts are made to police budgets. And that does mean, yes, in the future, if they do face tough economic times, it means they will have no ability to increase that property tax revenue. What that does, bud, is it ensures those cities know if they do make the decision to defund law enforcement, they are constricting their ability to ever be able to meet the other needs they have. Because the fact of the matter is, if we have lawlessness in our cities caused by local decision-making policies that reduce law enforcement officers, it's going to cause chaos throughout the entire community. Now, again, this is all stemming from the budget the Austin City Council passed last week. While other cities voted to increase funding for their departments, Austin became the first major city in the state to reallocate funding, using it to break off departments, expand other public safety teams, and fund social services. A few hours after the governor's announcement, Mayor Steve Adler held his own news conference, accusing the governor of stoking fear and spreading misinformation. And Adler is pushing back against saying $150 million was cut. There were only uh, $20 million that were cut. $20 million for unfilled positions, for overtime, and for three cadet classes that were postponed. There were no other cuts. Uh, the forensic lab will continue, 911, 311 will continue. Uh, the internal affairs will continue. None of these things were cut. The mayor also pointed out there were no layoffs, no officers uh, being fired. So let's remind you of what the council decided to do. The city manager originally presented a $434 million budget for APD. Now the council decided to take $21 million of that that would have gone toward three cadet classes over time and filling other vacancies and use that money to hire more paramedics, mental health response teams and social services. Another $80 million will be used to fund departments currently under the umbrella of police that council members think should be ran by other agencies, such as the 911 call center, forensic lab, and internal affairs. Then another $49 million would come from eliminating entire police units like the Lake Patrol and traffic enforcement for alternative public safety options. But that wouldn't happen right away, and Mayor Adler says it may not happen at all. It's just something the council is considering. Brian. Ashley, the city's new budget goes into effect October the 1st. The legislature in the state not set to meet until January of next year, 2021. So will this really have an impact on Austin at all? Well, it very well could. You know, lawmakers do have the ability to pass legislation that can roll back city and county policies. In fact, the lieutenant governor said that's exactly what he hopes will happen with this legislation that they're backing. But keep in mind, the governor's proposal is just that. A bill has not been drafted yet, so we don't want, we aren't even able to tell you all the details of how this would work out. Now, I did ask the governor's office what it considered defunding of police departments and was told that it is any decrease to police funding. Terry.